Hey, what's good YouTube? Native Mask Collector. Uh, back with another video. I got a, my submission back from PSA about uh, a week, two weeks ago or so of the LeBron James cards that I sent in in September of 2020. And I did a video, you can see the link up there, of me using the Grade Master tool, trying to find the 11 cards to send. And um, I did a, re a blind reveal and um, I lost the video or deleted it by accident. So I'm just gonna go through it, show you guys what I got. So 11 total cards, uh, I got an eight. And uh, I'm not really sure what what it got hit for. Um, maybe a little, I, I don't know. Anyways, got an eight on that one. And then I got f five nines. So one, two, three. Four and five, and then I got five tens. So that was really, really cool. One, two, three, four, and five. So, yep. So a pretty successful submission. Um, you know, this was the economy service back then, so it was 20 bucks a card. Um, so it cost me $240 or something like that with everything. And um, comps for the tens are basically in that 225 range right now. Um, I actually sold one of these. I'm just waiting for the guy to pay so I can send it to him. Um, getting some offers on some other ones around that 220 mark, so not bad. Um, and then the nines I think are going for you know 75 50 to 75 dollars right currently. And you know, we're in the dip right now, too. So I think I'm gonna try to hold on to most of these and just wait for the market to kind of spring back here, probably right before next season, and then um, sell them then. So but otherwise, I was pretty happy with it, um, especially after seeing how tough they've been grading lately. Um, and I know that there's been speculation that they've tightened up the grades or that, uh, you know, they just got a bunch of new people and everybody's pretty gun shy. They don't want to be the, the guy that gives out all the tens. I, I'm not sure, but I saw a really good uh, interview with Matt Turner on Sports Card Live. And, uh, you know, he kind of went through all that nonsense and says you know it's a bunch of bs you know they're not they're not grading any harder than they used to um the fact of the matter is there's a lot of damn cards going through there and a lot of rookies you know sending stuff in that don't know much about the grades or anything like that thinking everything's going to be a 10 and believe me you know i'm pretty new to this yet as far as like actual grading or inspecting cards to send you know, to make sure that I get back nines and tens or just getting something graded or slab that I just want to have in a, in a slab. Right. So it's like, you should see a couple of the cards that I sent off, you know, they're, they're trashed. Like I'll, they'll be lucky to hit threes. Um, but they were the first cards that I pull out of packs, you know? So, it means something to me. I just want to get them in a case. I thought it would be kind of funny and cool at the same time. So, um, <clears throat> but I think I'm getting better at, at it. Um, I think in the Dennis Rodman ones I sent out, you know, those six, six cards, I got one, I got one ten. I got, uh, I think I got two nines, uh, eight and a half and two eights I think is what what came out of that that submission which kind of bought just blew me away I, I thought they were a lot better condition than that but 
And this was the second submission I sent in. Um, some of the third, you know, are I have videos up already from those regular submissions where it's kind of scattered around, but predominantly eights. You know, some nines sprinkled in there. I definitely made my money back. I sold a couple of those Jordans uh, mint nines and the Pippin mint nine and a Robin mint nine. So um, the Jordan sold for 600 and Pippin sold for I think 350 or something. So you know, Robin I sold for 300 actually about a month ago, and uh, that price has dropped considerably. So I'm lucky I hit that one when I did. So. Uh, it's been fun, you know, I'm, I'm learning a lot, definitely looking for a lot of things now more than ever. Um, I'm not even touching certain auctions on eBay if the card is off-centered. Like, I'm not even going to deal with it unless it's something that's num really, really low number that I'm trying to get a, a rainbow on, Christian Wood type of thing. So, um, yeah, it's been cool. I got a bunch of submissions coming back. I got a... RCG submission coming in. It shipped today. The today is uh, June 9th, so I should have that back by next week for sure. Um, I have five HGA submissions out there. Um, I think the first one is probably gonna pop here in a few weeks, and then probably every week or two after that, I'll probably see something come in from them for a while. Um, and then I have four regular submissions at PSA right now that are in the grading stage. And that's probably about 60 cards total. And then after that, I have a bunch of modern value submissions at, at PSA. And, um, those probably won't get sent back to me until this fall, if I'm lucky. I mean, I know they're catching up, but I don't think they're catching up to a point where they're going to be able to get to my my cards, you know. So I think a lot of people are sending in more higher end stuff now, paying for it and taking up that capacity right now that they're uh, doing. So cool. Uh, here's a couple more of my stands I made. Um, I definitely screwed up on this one. I made it way too big, um, but. Like there was a platform here that I was supposed to be keep underneath the whole thing. Like the whole thing was supposed to be basically this little block in here. And I forgot about that and I just kept building out and it just got really big. But um, it looks cool. You know, I, I was going kind of like for uh, blocks of ice type of thing. And um, it turned out really nice. Um, I was thinking about putting like a light pod underneath it or something to make it glow. So I thought it'd be pretty cool somehow we get that to work. And then it should theoretically light up the slab too. So that's kind of neat. Um, still kind of finalizing details on this stuff and doing different designs and trying but i'm learning a lot of just um how to prepare to make you know your own stand and uh you know i did this on my 3d printer uh, elegoo mars 2 um seems to be working out i did get a chip here already i probably cured it too too long um but anyways, I'm rambling. Thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, make sure if you have not subscribed, please do so. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, like the video, hit that thumbs up and then hit that bell for notifications on the next videos when I drop them and we'll see you in the next one. Later.